How has been, being a mother affected the way you perform? Or has it? I think even before, when, when I was in the hope of having children, it did inspire me to perform a certain way. Now that I am a mother, I feel definitely more grounded because I know that I, I'm always going to go back home to where I feel better. I love performing. I love having a good time on stage. It's just part of me to have a good time and express myself as a singer with some emotions. And we do music. You know, it's, I'm, I'm singing. Mm -hmm. I'm not taking decisions uh, about a life, you know. Mm -hmm. But as a mom, the decisions I make can change somebody's life. So when I have a good time on stage, for me, it's definitely lighter. Have fun, have a good time. Just, mm -hmm. it's, it's okay. Don't take yourself, do your job seriously. Do the best you can, but don't take yourself seriously. But I sing, thank you, good night. And to be honest with you, while I'm doing it, I don't think of something else. But when I'm done, mm -hmm. my first and long, only thought is for my children, and I can't wait to go home. So to, right to when have that my most important role. Curtain was closing. Your thought was I'm home. I'm going home. Mm -hmm. Yes. So now you have three little boys, or as you said in your show, four. Four, <laughs> That's four little right. boys. I loved when you said that. You know, I'm semi newlywed. How have you guys kept your marriage almost 20 years? Yeah. It's pretty amazing. It is. Do you have any advice? You will have challenges. And it will get hard sometimes. And it's just life telling you, oh, you guys have been together for a while. Let give you, we're going to give you a little mm -hmm. challenge to see how good you are, you know? Mm -hmm. And the most important thing, I think, it's the um, verb, how do you say, like? Communication. Communication, mm -hmm. thank you. Communication. I used to hold pretty much everything in. If I would be disappointed or not happy, or I would have loved for my husband to do differently, I would either keep it in mm -hmm. until it builds up and then say, you weren't there, you should have been this, you should have been there, you should have been spending there, and you, the kids, and that. Once you tell the other one, you should, then it's like, and then it, it never works. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Instead of trying to really phrase it differently and say, can, can I speak with you for a moment? Because really, I, yesterday, I, I missed you a lot. You, you've been very busy, but I wish you would have been there yesterday. You know, the kids missed you, and I would have loved to see you play with them more. And mm -hmm. I felt lonely yesterday. I would love for you to be more around. So it's all about communication. I think it's about communication and not saying you, 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 yeah. you, you. But, but no blame. I felt bad. Mm -hmm. I felt sad. Mm -hmm. I missed you instead of you weren't there. Mm -hmm. 